So that column now is full legends. That will take a day and a bit to uh, to uh, dry uh, in the form, and then we remove the form and then let it dry a further couple of days, and then uh, you should get to a stage that you're like this. And uh, it will be ready for load bearing in the next week or so. Right, legends, welcome to the Miles Rolden YouTube channel. I'm Miles Rolden, it's vlog 177. Vlog 177. I'm so so happy to have you on board. I'm here to give you another dream home building project update here in the uh, province town of Sapian, Capis, Philippines. And you'll see the majority of the work is taking place on the top floor, the third floor. And it's Bohos time, it's time to pour some concrete into uh, this posty this uh this column this pillar call it what you may it's all ready to go it's been welded on it has four mass all tight around it and uh, we are ready now to mix concrete sand stone cement and pour this bad boy and make it a permanent feature a permanent structure here on the design On the second floor legends and no no job in my brand new haircut wow ladies single shot <laughs> cloudy be most haircut my uh my bolo sakilid <laughs> and the electrical team is also here We have Yan Yan and Christian Baldis Baldissimo. <laughs> oh, they're cutting into the steel deck there. No, no, Joven has got a very uh, easy job today. Just stirrups, steel rebar, 10 mm or 12 na. Oh, ten palang. 
Uh, legends, we've just entered the third floor, the top floor. <laughs> and the concrete has already been mixed. And it's Boho's time, Legends, Boho's time. Wow, everyone has brand new haircut, huh? See Gibson, see Joe Bird. See Uncle Rocky? A bit? Oui. Go up, Posse poor man. So it looks like uh, they're making sure that the uh, the join between the uh, newly chiselled away slab and what the uh, the new concrete it looks like they're making sure the join is uh, is proper. And uh, legends, before uh, we begin the uh, pouring of concrete, I want to introduce you to our brand new, uh, our brand new beams. I don't know if you saw from uh, the entrance in the vlog, but we have additional work to show from the last vlog, 167. Sorry, 176. I beg your pardon, I'm confusing you, legends. In vlog 176, we had just this cross beam um, and these two columns at the front done. But uh, in this vlog 177, I can uh, report that the gang gang have added or have begun this uh, this beam across the back and this beam on the side here, bakery side of my uncle's bakery. So uh, a lot of work has been done since the last vlog. And uh, we are now in a position to start pouring concrete into this column here. The mix is done. It's more horse time. More horse time, legends. So it looks like uh, Jerson is the, the one at the top there with Jobert and Gibson. Boss Nancy is also down here with Gibson. We have some leakage and uh, the remedy to any leakage when it comes to this uh, pouring of concrete is a good old cement sack. Can't go wrong with a cement sack. You've seen that in previous vlogs. Plug it up with a cement sack and that does the tr trick usually.
So legends, this uh, column here, this pillar will be used to support the uh, roof at the front of the uh, property design. I hope you're enjoying this vlog 177 from the comfort of your homes and armchairs on your uh, device on your smart device remember while you're watching this vlog show some appreciation for our hard work and hit that like button hit that share button and of course if you are new to the channel and you haven't already hit that subscribe button it doesn't cost you a penny and uh, it helps us immensely. While you're at it, hit um, the search function on all social media platforms and type in Miles Rolden on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And follow, like, and, uh, and be part of the uh, new movement here in the Philippines. Be part of the gang gang, be a legend. as this uh, London city boy builds his life here in the Philippines. A lot to come. We should be having updates on our rice land as well as our uh, aqua farm soon, our fish farm. So please stay, into future, uh, stay tuned to future vlogs for more updates on this construction project, as well as my endeavors and my other projects here in the Philippines.
So legends, it's a manual bores. Uh, it's not a big enough column to uh, warrant a uh, motorized mixer. So we're mixing the concrete, concrete manually with cement, sand, stone and water. Very good estimation, Nanti. <laughs> so, yeah, that was very good. Perfect. <laughs> So that column now is full legends. That will take a day and a bit to uh, to uh, dry. 
uh, in the form and then we remove the form and then let it dry a further couple of days and then uh, you should get to a stage that you're like this and uh, it will be ready for load bearing in the next week or so So legends, now uh, the uh, pouring of concrete has uh, finished in the front facing column. The work immediately focuses back on this uh, cross beam that is at the rear of the property, as well as uh, starting the work on the side of the uh, property for another cross beam. So uh, the team really is uh, splitting and uh, dividing and conquering as such. Uh, with uh, Foreman Rocky in the centre directing the uh, lads or the gang gang on what to do. So uh, yeah, you would have seen Nunai Jovin downstairs uh, bending 10mm rebar for the stirrups that you can see hanging there. Uh, as you know, as you can see, every single column receives a, uh, a steel ring every uh, every 10 uh, or so centimeters and it's tied with a lumbery steel wire to form the cross beam looks like we are definitely bringing more rebar upstairs you have jobert on the uh, street level jobert on the next floor up and Jerson ready to receive looks to be more 16 mm rebar the strong tough rebar and as I mentioned work will continue now on these cross beams now that this uh, column has been poured with concrete awesome If you have any questions regarding what you're seeing in today's vlog, vlog 177 legends, please do let me know in the comment section below. I'll be glad to hear from you. Even if it's just a, a warm greeting and some kind words of support, I actually enjoy reading those better than the questions. The questions can be quite um, technical. And uh, I uh, am not pretending to know, I have to, I'm not pretending to uh, to have all the answers to this legends this is uh, something that i am also learning a lot about during this process this construction game here in the philippines so i imagine this will this rebar will be used to extend this rear column at the back as well as start the work on the side here as i mentioned earlier so yeah, there are no uh, cranes, no hoists. It's good old fashioned manpower using a bit of uh, concentration and good old hard graft, rough hands and uh, human efforts. All with smiles on their faces, as you, as you, if you can notice, the gang gang are happy at work. I try and make a very safe environment, a very fun environment. Nothing is too, uh, nothing is too serious here. Obviously, when it comes to safety, we try our best to be serious. But uh, we're with each other now, or have been working since the Ras boarding house project. So some of my uh, gang gang have been with me going on two years now. So that's day in, day out. Try not to argue with any of them, and try uh, my best to show empathy to all of their needs, their human, uh, their human needs. 
uh, and we've somewhat grown close in that space of time so I uh, it's important to me that they enjoy what they're doing and they are 100% 110% safe on site These two young lads, uh, Joba and Gibson, are working very hard. I respect them so much. That's really daunting work, high work, uh, without any sort of... Uh... <laughs> yeah, well... They're not, they're not stupid lads. They know how to uh, distribute their weight. And uh, we are definitely uh, trying our best to avoid lot, uh, big gusts of wind. But yeah, respect to Joba and Gibson. Show us some love, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You're seeing a Philippine build how it's meant to be done. So you'll see uh, Legends uh, Boss Nancy is putting uh, the 16mm rebar in the correct place and tying them with the re with a lumbering with wire to the column uh, and then from there on they'll slide on these stirrups that uh, or these steel rings that Gibson is uh, preparing and uh, much like the spacing here they will uh, tie uh, tie them in place to hold with steel wire
and that is the start of uh, one of the Beans legends. Right legends, that's it for vlog 177, vlog 177 on the Miles Roldan YouTube channel. That's in the can, I'm gonna go try and edit it now. If you're new to this channel and you enjoy this content, hit that like button and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, it helps me out immensely. If you're one of my ongoing supporters, one of my legends, thank you so much. I can't do this without you, I do this all for you, so continue to support my journey here in the Philippines. With all that being said, I hope to see you in vlog 178. Vlog 178 will be next. It's me, me, myself and I, Miles Roldan. Thanks for watching.